Rudi Ebersold is a renowned Swiss biologist and one of the main supporters of the need to move towards system-focused biological research. The knowledge gained over the last 20 to 30 years, specifically knowledge gained in the analysis of genes and genomes, have been enormously important for biology and the significance can really not be overestimated. We have also learned that the information of genomes by themselves are not sufficient to explain the functioning of biological processes. For instance, it has been observed that different mutations, different changes in the genome expressed in different individuals have different effects. We therefore had to abandon the idea that knowledge of the whole genome and the products it generates would be sufficient for the understanding of biological processes and eventually the functioning of the human body. In the 80s and 90s, one of the most advanced frontiers in biology was the study and sequencing of the human genome. The achievement of its first draft was enthusiastically announced by both Bill Clinton and Tony Blair on the 26th of June, 2000. At that time, large international collaborations were established. Some countries decided not to take part in the venture, assuming that they would be able to join in later and use the information for their research. Switzerland was among those that took the decision not to participate in the human genome endeavor. In my opinion, this was a big mistake. In life science research, it is not just the results that are being communicated, but also the process that leads to the generation of these results. Consequently, the countries that were in the genome project early on, they not only had first insights into the results, but they were also learning the processes that are the basis of genomics research. This persisted in the academic research and biotech industry culture in that these countries are still leading in that field today. In contrast, Switzerland, while generally very strong in life science research, never attained a worldwide leading position because we missed the initial genomics trend. With the emergence of systems biology, the decision was taken to create programs that would allow Swiss science to be at the forefront worldwide in the field of systems biology. This was the reason that Systems X was created in 2008 for the benefit of the population and of the country as a whole. <music>